Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and this is Detroit to Become Human and we are back with our boy Connor. Oh, in the rain. Oh, he looks so sad. Okay. Oh, we're in control really quickly. I don't know why I didn't expect to be in control right away. But yeah, we're back in the Zen Garden with an umbrella that he's not using despite, you know, being in the rain. But never mind, you know, maybe he doesn't mind. Maybe he just likes to get his hair wet. We don't know him. Let's touch this strange rock, just because I like touching it every time I come here. He gets a little more okay with it every time. Like, he still jumps back, but not quite as much as he did last time. He kind of knew what was going to happen. He gets a bit, he gets a little more used to it every time. Okay, we've got a boat. A little boat. This place is lovely. Like, imagine if you actually had a garden that looked like this. You'd never leave it, would you? It's gorgeous. I, don't, I have no idea what this chapter's called. <laughs> I can't even remember what the chapter's called. Oh my god, look at this bridge. It's such a cute bridge. You've just got to appreciate this place every time you come here. No, no matter how many times you've played this game, you've got to appreciate the Zen Garden and just how it looks. Oh, it's so beautiful. Right, I need to go to the, need to go to the little boat, don't I? Do I need to go to the little boat? Uh, I thought I did, but apparently no. I <laughs> guess I don't need to go to the boat yet. I always thought you started this by going to the boat. Do I need to find Amanda first? Oh, she's over there. Okay, why is she so far away from the boat? Never mind. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to come come to her from this way. Never mind. Okay, oh, hello, hi. Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little while? I love the like squares she's got on her on her neck and wrist. Like, she's just been standing there in the rain. She's not, like, under anything, I don't think. Unless that big thing that she was standing that under has, uh, has a roof. But she was just standing there in the rain. <laughs> you didn't manage to capture it. I needed to save... I needed to save Hank. Hank is more more exp more important. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behaviour. I should have been more effective. No, no, not more effective. Did you We're very effective. Anything? We found a book. Diary. I found we found his diary, diary fan fiction. But it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. <laughs> what else? Imagine if that's all it was. <laughs> you just spend weeks deciphering it. It's just diary fan fiction. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. It was very, it was like very the other beautiful. Deviants, it seemed obsessed They're very creative. With RA9. Oh, my eyes are watering so much. Why is this happening? That deviant. <laughs> How is your relationship with the Lieutenant? Very well. We're very good friends. It's, it's going great. We saved him. You seem grateful that I saved his life on the roof. Yeah. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. Just in his own way. <laughs> in his own angry way. What was the point of me bringing this umbrella? Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before that the media find out. That is a nice cape, though. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. I mean, I probably will. I'm not going to lie. just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Oh, we're not going to take the boat? Did we already take the boat last time? Did I already do that bit? I can't remember. I play this game once a week. <laughs> for, for, for my Friday video, that is when I play this game. <laughs> I play this game once a week. I can't remember everything that happened. Ooh, I like this, I like this part. I like this part. <laughs> this, is, this is full of just Connor and Hank interaction. It's great. Oh my god, that is the ideal ta- Hack friend. That is the ideal taxi. No driver, no interaction. Just a, 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 a thing that comes and picks you up and takes you somewhere. And you don't have to interact with any people. I love this part. Lieutenant Anderson! It's me, Connor. The android sent from Cyberlife. <laughs> I just Anybody love ringing this bell. <laughs> Just the way he's like, ring, 
me. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love Connor. Okay, what can we do over this way? He looks like he parked his car, you know, well. He's not in it. But, you know, it, it, it's pretty well parked. I mean, only some of the car is on the grass. You know, I, I think he did a good job. Good job, Hank. Well done. Okay, let's have a look around. Let's have a look around. See if we can see if we can get in any other way than the front door. Can I see through these cracks? The blinds aren't properly done. Can I see through? <gasps> Sumo! Hello, hello, good boy. Hello, Puffer. Hello. Oh, what a good boy. Okay, so for this bit coming up, you need to remember that Connor is the most advanced prototype that Cyber, that Cyber Life have ever made. He's the most advanced prototype they've ever made. And watch him trying to get through a window. Lieutenant oh no, Anderson. Hank is unconscious. We've got to save him. Break. Most advanced prototype Cyber Life have ever created. Easy, <laughs> Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Good boy, Sumo. What a good boy. <laughs> but yeah, you watch other androids like Marcus doing all that parkour stuff, diving through windows. But not the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created, no. <laughs> they just fall through the window. You okay, Hank? You're not looking too good there. What you been drinking? Black Lamb Scotch Whiskey. So, like, Jack Daniels kind of stuff? I don't know. <laughs> don't know a lot about booze. One bullet remaining in the revolver. Seems very Russian roulette. All right, what else we got? Oh. Ooh. I thought we were, like, you know, gonna... I don't know, examine his shirt or something. I couldn't remember exactly what we examined. I thought it was going to be like his shirt or something. Nope, we're just looking directly at his heart. And his mouth is the last one, right? Is it not? Oh, there we go. Traces of alcohol. It looks from the lines like it's just, you know, spilled it down his face, not traces. Lieutenant. Ethel... I can't read very well. <laughs> I love Wake this up, bit. Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. <laughs> it's me, Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> I'm going oh, to I love this chapter. Hey, it's so hey, fun. I have to warn you. Emil, it's oh, maybe I'm fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Oh, I love this. I love this chapter so freaking much. <laughs> Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Ah. <laughs> Shut up. Attack. Head done. Good done. Attack. Oh my god, Conti Brown's drunk acting is so Fuck, good. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> it's just hilarious. I love every second of it. Oh, come on, Clancy. Oh, I mean, me alone, you know what? I, I know who you are. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, Paul D. I don't want a Paul D. What the hell are you doing? Oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. You need one. Sorry, Lieutenant. <laughs> I know I'm going to push him. It just looks really romantic. The situation they're in now is very homoerotic. Right, push. <laughs> Get in the bath. Okay, turn on. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hi. What the fuck are you doing here? 
<laughs> Somebody died. We need to go and find out who did it. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Can't you just leave me alone? Um, rational. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. You need to sit down. You need to just take five, take a rest, have a cup of coffee. Let's tease him. <laughs> I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> How to get straight men There's to do anything? Just bedroom. mention sex. They'll they'll be right there. I'll go get them. Oh god, straight men, so predictable. But yeah, I love the story behind that. That like when they were filming that part where he sprays him with water in the bath. <laughs> Apparently, apparently, like, Clancy Brown just had to go like that. Like, ah! <laughs> just, just, like, without any water, just until, basically, uh, Brian Deckard just turned off the water. Just had to leave him there, just kind of flailing. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, I don't care about the books. I'm just going to get him getting some clothes. What do you think we should get? What do you want to wear? What do you want to wear? Whatever. Whatever. What do you think we should do? Hippy, stripey, or streaky? Streaky? That sounds like he's just gonna, like, go to the sex club bollock naked. I mean, he'd fit in. Uh, okay, let's do hippie. <laughs> oh. I, I did that with the mouse in midair. I was like, why isn't it working? <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know why I think it's like a Wemo or something. Right. Oh, God, I can just see him in the corner. Bent, over, bent double over the toilet. Oh god, I don't want to look. I forgot if I look there, I can see it in the in the in the screen. I see it in the streamlabs. I don't want to see him throw up right, or hear it. Really. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you look great. Just, you look uh, fine. Give me five minutes, okay? You like you're having a really good time. Sure. You need to get it all up. I'm just gonna look away. Yep, I don't need to deal with that. Okay, you you do that. I want to pet Sumo. Where's Sumo? I want to pet him. <gasps> puppy! Yes! Pet the puppy. Hello, Puppa. The Kremlin has yet to respond. Yay, pet the Puppa. Hello, Sumo. Oh, good boy. He's such a big fella. He's such a big puffer. Oh, I love Sumo. What a baby. <laughs> what a big baby. Okay, we should really learn his son's name for future reference. Where is it? What's that? There we go. Oh. Deceased. Cole Anderson. Hank lost his son. So fucking sad. Poor baby. Examine the revolver. He was definitely playing Russian roulette, wasn't he? Let's question him. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Want to see how long I can last? Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. God damn it. That's so terrifying how close he came to death. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Very stylish, Hank. You look fine. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. I think you used the wrong inflection. They're like, oh, you look fine. That just means how he looks okay. It's like, he looks fine. There we go. <laughs> inflection is everything. Good boy, Zumo. Oh my god, the chapter's called Russian Roulette. If I was actually monetized, would I get demonetized for a title like that? Because I just call the... I call the videos just the name of the chapter. And now I'm going to have a video called Russian Roulette. 
Oh dear. <laughs> if I ever get monetized on my YouTube channel, I'm going to get demonetized for this tile, aren't I? Jesus Christ. Oh, there were things I couldn't... The things I didn't do. Sure. Uh, yeah, you can't call him Hank's dog if you don't know the name of the dog. Understanding attitude. Hell yeah. I don't like picking the other way. I don't know, it just feels bad. Anyway. Yeah, that was the chapter, Russian Roulette. <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed it. I really like that chapter. I just like... I, I Like, chapters that are purely just Connor and Hank interaction... Please, give me all of that. I will have that any day of the week, all day, every day. Give me all that Connor and Hank interaction. I love their friendship. It's so good. But yeah, I really appreciate you for watching the video. Oh my god, I'm gassy today. Yeah, this is what this is what happens when I don't edit videos. But yeah, I really appreciate you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I hope to see you back here on Monday for the next video. Stay strange.